What's up guys, it's Emma, back again with another video. And today I've got a little taste test for you guys. So if you don't already know, and if this is your first video, hi, how are ya? Um, I am a Starbucks barista and we have some new drinks and we have some old drinks here but they're all the colorful spring looking ones summer looking ones and they're all refreshers i will go through them so i thought i would do a little taste test for you i personally haven't tried any of these yet i am a big coffee drinker so i thought that i would hop on the trend and taste them out for you from a barista perspective so first we've got the golden ginger drink so this is the yellow drink. This has turmeric powder, which makes it yellow, uh, the pineapple syrup, and then coconut milk. So I do know how to make it, just haven't tried it yet. This is the, this is the new one. This is the guava passion fruit drink. This just has guava juice and coconut milk in it. Because the guava naturally, I guess, already has passion fruit in it. So yeah, this is, this is it. And then this is an oldie, but a well-loved one, but it's the purple one, but it's the violet drink. So this is coconut milk and very, very hibiscus refresher juice base and the berries. And the berries actually, fun fact, make it purple because the very berry hibiscus base juice that we put in is clear you didn't know that and this is the pineapple matcha so this just has matcha powder it has coconut milk and it has the pineapple syrup and personally I'm not a matcha person so that drink might not be the best for me but if you love matcha you might love it so just keep that in mind and if I don't think something tastes good I do have a backup here to chase it, I have my tried and true strawberry acai lemonade. So if I do have a refresher at the end of my shift, this is usually what I go for. Bomb. So, got four straws, because I don't want to cross contaminate. And I also don't want to have another drink. Get into another taste test. So, we are going to start with the golden ginger. We're going to mix it up. You know what? It's not bad. It's a little spicy. So like if you really like iced chais, this might be your new drink of choice because chai is a little spicy, but the coconut milk actually makes it sweet, so it's sweet and spicy, so it's actually, it's not bad. It actually tastes, so I have tasted this drink, but I've tasted it hot, and that was not good to me anyway, personal opinion. But iced, I feel is way better than the hot version of this drink. So, this I've gotta give like, Like a seven out of 10. I might do less turmeric powder next time because I think that's a little too spicy for me, but I'm gonna stick with a seven out of 10, seven out of 10. So our next drink is the guava passion fruit. Let's do this one next because it's pink. Oh, this is good. This. It almost tastes pomegranate like. Like it's got like a nice tang to it, but it's sweet. Again, like the coconut milk really, really gets you there. So I've got to give this an 8 out of 10. I'm really enjoying this. And you know what? I don't like coconut milk. So the fact that I'm liking these drinks, they're all made with coconut milk. Thumbs up for me. Thumbs up for me. By the way, I don't know in what order I'm going to upload these videos, but I think this one's gonna go up 
before my glow up transformation video, but I did a fake tan. I did the mousse, which I love it. The tan came out great. I don't know if you can tell, but the only problem is I slept funny and we got this nice line right here. Go me. I also shaved, not shaved, I waxed part of my eyebrow off, so maybe I should name it like transformation fail, but go me. So <laughs> that was a little off topic, but next drink is gonna be the violet drink. Oh, I don't, I don't know what that tastes like, but it does not taste good. Oh, nope. Okay, I have to give this one like a 2 out of 10. I just, I really, there's something about it. I think it's the base. Like, I like pink drinks, don't get me wrong. I don't, I, this, this is not, this ain't it, sis. That ain't, that ain't it, sis. This is the one I've been dreading. I've been really dreading this one. Like I just, I, I want to be that person that likes matcha. I'm just, I'm not that person. And if you are, nothing against you, nothing against you. I'm just not. So this is the pineapple matcha. And this is really popular. So, And I knew it too. I knew I was not gonna like it. But honestly, it really tastes like matcha. Like, I mean, there's a hint of pineapple in there, which tastes good. But if you love matcha, you're gonna love this. I just, I'm not a matcha drinker. So I already knew from the get go, I was probably not gonna like this drink. But also, making these drinks, they're just super pretty. So I think, if I can remember, this is a 7 out of 10. This is the 8 out of 10. Two. I think I have to give this like a fair 4 or 5 because I just don't like matcha. And that's this might be a great drink. You know, if I liked matcha, I probably could have given it a fair rating. But from someone who doesn't like matcha, like 4 or 5. And I'm only giving it that high rating because... I don't like matcha and I feel like that's unfair for me to rate it anything lower. So, oh, I just had it. But that is our taste test review of these four drinks. Now I have to, I just had the matcha, so I gotta, gotta sip. Anyway, that was our review of, let me see if I can, of these four drinks. Maybe I could do my thumbnail like this. Okay, I already checked thumbnails, but we'll see. I like options, I like options. But that was our taste test and review of these four drinks. If you have any video suggestions or requests, please comment them down below. I reply to all of my comments and I love, love, love seeing your guys' comments and feedback for me. So keep it up, really loving all the comments and new subscribers. So hi, welcome if you are new to the fam. But please like, comment, and subscribe if you are not already. And I will see you in the next video. And as always, thanks for watching guys. Peace.